Governor Tina Kotek outlined her top three priorities for this year's budget. That's housing and homelessness, mental health and addiction care, and education. Oregonians are looking for action, real action that makes a difference in their everyday lives. Kotek proposes spending $130 million on housing and combating homelessness as part of her homelessness state of emergency declaration, which applies to parts of the state where homelessness has increased by 50% or more since 2017. She's asking the legislature to quickly take up the following investment package, $23 million for expanding shelters and growing the housing workforce, $54 million to get 1,200 people off the streets, including offering rental assistance, 33 million to prevent evictions, and another 13 million to support homeless people within Oregon tribes, expand sanitation services, and support emergency response. The money allocated for homelessness, is that just for the areas of the state included in the state of emergency? And how do you plan to help those communities that aren't included? That's a great question. Thank you, Blair. So as you know, we've been talking about $130 million. 40 million out of the current biennium, 90 into the next biennium to meet very specific goals around unsheltered homelessness in those priority areas. However, the rest of the budget also expands emergency assistance for the whole state. Kotech also plans to invest in the state's mental health and addiction crisis in part by increasing workforce wages. My budget proposes doubling the Oregon Health Authority's health care provider incentive program, which would bring up to 1,000 new workers from diverse backgrounds into this pipeline. That same attention will go toward education and affordable child care. These investments can only make the desired impact for our children and students with focused leadership and increased accountability. Senate leaders are responding to her budget proposal, saying they will work with the governor while pointing out how there will be challenges since about $3.5 billion of one-time funding from the federal government is about to expire. This vision for Oregon's future cannot be realized in one budget cycle, but this plan today provides a roadmap for how we are going to reach this state's long-term goals. The governor also notes the importance of expanding the state's affordable housing production with a target of building 36,000 new homes per year. In Salem, Blair Best, KGW News.